Good day, beautiful souls. This is Isis. Abandonment wounds generally arrived from our childhood. They arrived from the events which took place around us, but they had nothing to do with us. So, for example, perhaps your parents separated or divorced. Um, my parents separated when I think I was one or two years old, very young. Um, I know they divorced by the time I was two. What was the kind of meaning and attachment style that I gave myself based upon that outcome? Well, I would say the meaning was, I am not enough. Um, the other meaning would be, I am unworthy. The other meaning would be, nobody really loves me. The other meaning would be, What can I do to gain acceptance? So here's the reality. If you have those feelings, they do derive from your childhood. And those feelings are the root of shame. So we need to release the shame. Now, let's say in your childhood, your parents did not divorce, but you attached, you made an attachment to someone and it was the wrong attachment. You built a life around that somebody, but it was still the wrong attachment and you were never enough. And then you gained shame. So when you do it from your childhood, your root chakra up to your sacral chakra, they become clogged or difficult for you to release the anguish and you're extremely into your third eye and your crown chakra. You're very much in tune with the focus of how can I please so and so? How can I make so and so accept me for who I am? and you generally hide who you are, you have no voice. And um, you may be emitting a lot of emotion, but it's just too much. Now, on the other hand, when you have an event take place where it caused you the abandonment wound as an adult, your intuitiveness, your voice, your heart chakra, your crowd chakra, they become blocked. And your sacred chakra to your root chakra, they become more open and grounded because you want to block everyone from that point on. But you don't understand why I wasn't enough in the first place. If I'm not enough, nobody's enough. That becomes your grounded root. So, how can we release these anguishes and traumas? First and foremost, understand you are enough. You say, I am enough just for who I am. I am enough. I accept and I embrace all the good the universe has to offer me. And I release all the traumas, dramas and unhappy events which have taken course within my life. I am enough and it's not my fault. It was never your fault. Let go of the shame. It was not your fault if your parents separated. It is not your fault if your parents divorced. It is not your fault if you felt abandoned by an adult as a child. That is not your fault. That's their shit, not yours. Number two, it is not your fault if your spouse and significant other left you. It is not your fault if they told you you are not enough because you are enough. It's not your fault. You are worthy. Embrace it, say, I am worthy. I am worthy of all the good the universe has to offer to me. 
I am worthy of all the joy of life. I am worthy of all the happiness known to humanity. I am worthy of love. I am worthy of kindness. I am worthy of respect. I am worthy. You don't have to make yourself worthy. You are worthy just for who you are. Embrace yourself. And we should also focus on our meditations. In my next video, I will do some meditations and I hope you can join me. Have a beautiful day.